The market works. No one is as smart as all of us, and the governor or potential governor is no exception. Adam Smith, yeah, that guy, <laughs> his basic idea in the book The Wealth of Nations says each person seeking his own good provides for the good of all. The idea would favor individuals mostly doing what they want with their own land. Former Speaker of the House Dick Armey once quipped, Markets are smart. Governments are dumb. He was probably right. If limiting urban sprawl is good in 2022, would the governor undo the sprawl that has happened in the past in Pennsylvania? Should housing be taken from homeowners and plowed under to return it to farmland? Exactly where is the line drawn to stop urban sprawl? And if it's considered just to stop urban sprawl, it should be just to reverse it, of course. Then there's the the not me conundrum. I'm guessing Mr. Mastriano lives in a house on some land. Where is the justice in his family owning a home just because he got here first? Doesn't a young couple have the same justice claim to own a home? Look, life is cheaper in inland cities because in coastal cities, half the land is underwater. That's why it's cheaper to live in Omaha or Dallas than in Miami or Boston. The prospective governor of Pennsylvania wants to make life more expensive for his constituents by limiting the amount of available land, just like in port cities. Problem is, in port cities, they have the benefit of the port. In the Pennsylvania example, they won't have the economic benefit of a port, but they will have the economic penalty of the loss of land. This is especially difficult for the poor who we Christians care about. The poor move into the middle class by buying a small home, then moving up to a bigger one. Land restrictions deny that opportunity to the poor.